Hello friends, this is Akshay Khaya. This is my new video series about Android apps. In this video series, we are going to check some cool app available on the Play Store. So first app that we are going to check is Unhack. I will send the link in description. Uh, you can check the link in video description. So this is the app. Let me just open it. This is the splash screen of app. Let's click on analyze app. So this app will tell you which applications on your phone have access to which permission say for an example so these are different permissions that are available in android say for an example sms so this will tell you which app can access my sms so these are different applications which have access to my sms similarly call logs so these are different uh, apps which can access my call log these are different applications which can access my contacts these are different apps which can access my location so these different permit which app on your phone is using which permission say for an example let's open SD card let's check so these are different apps which are allowed to access my they can read data from my SD card so what they can do with the permissions mm, so just tap on these three bars so this will tell you which what damage what damage can an app do if they have of this particular permission so what else they can do with this permission so they can see all my important that are there on my phone they can delete my whatsapp conversation they can delete my saved game on my phone they can see my photo they can see my private photo so these apps are allowed to access my data and they can do all this stuff to my data same way let's see different apps which are allowed to access camera camera feature of my phone so what else they can do with this permission they can click selfie with your camera whenever they want whenever they want they, they will not ask for your permission they can directly click uh, they can trigger the camera and take a selfie or take a picture whenever they want simply they can they can switch to video mode also and they can record a video also they can publish my photos on the internet if they have access on the of the internet so internet is one of the most harmful permission that an app can have but most of the apps these days are allowed to access internet so right now these are uh, these all apps are there on my phone which are allowed to access internet so what they can do they can increase my internet bills by random by randomly using data in background whenever they are reading on your phone they can send it data to to their server say for an example if an app reading my call logs they can send that call logs data on their server if an app reading my say reading my sd card so these are different apps these are different apps reading my sd card data if they have permission of internet also so they my personal phone data on their located server where there is a microphone permission is there so these apps what harm they can do including conversation while I am on the phone or I am having I am in some very important conversation they can listen to my conversation when the phone is in my pocket so they can trigger the microphone they can start recording on microphone whenever they want so sim so these are different permissions are there similarly device for permission is there Let's see so these are different apps which are allowed to access my device info so what else they can do they can see my linked ids to my phone linked ids as in let me show you so linked ids are there settings and accounts so they can access all these my accounts linked ids linked account and they can see my mac address my mac address is a hardware address my of my phone so they can see my uh, they can access my app mac address and this is the option they it will show all the apps so these are apps are uh, these apps are installed on my phone so let's say camera so this app here I can tap on show app permission so camera can see my location 
they can read my contact details they can see my personal document they can edit my photos they can record my conversation they can click images means they have access to camera they can use internet they can use wi-fi they can use nfc right now nfc is not there on my phone, but if there is nfc they can access it oh say for an example let's see uh, let's see and so these are different permissions there which are used by m indicator similarly there is an option to check whether this app is safe or not so we can tap on is this app safe so it is saying that this app is fishy cause the permission taken by this app fall in gray area of justification for the functioning of the app hence it is ca categorized as fishy app so let's check some trustworthy app so we can check what is this app safe yes this app is safe the permission this app takes are minimal and for the functioning core feature of this app hence this app is safe similarly we can check this puzzle alarm app this app is fishy you can check google <laughs> google now launcher is also fishy is what they are asking, but we can trust it yes file explorer again fishy let's check uh, let's check twitter most of people in oh twitter is safe so the permission this app takes are minimal and necessary for the functioning of the core features of the app hence this is a safe uh, this is a safe app so for developers also i would i would like to tell i would like to suggest that uh, if they are developing any an, an android app generally developers adds all the permission to the app but it's better to take only those permission which are necessary for the app most of the time user don't check for the permission they directly install the app but uh, but some smart users they check for the permission which permission used by which app and late and based on that they install the app so if your app is taking bunch of unnecessary permission just remove those permission and just take only those permission which are required by by your applications so for an example say for an example uh, let me show you m indicator uh, m indicator like a nice app but they can see my location they can they can access my contact they can access my uh, they can access my messages they can access my photos they can access internet uh, they can make calls from my number so that's a fishy permission that this app is taking that's why this app is in fishy category let's check messenger is this app safe oh this app is also fishy now we can check the app permission so this app has access to my location they can call this app doesn't actually need to access my memory card but still it is accessing memory or memory card so maybe it's in fishy category we can check unhack also let's check is this app safe <laughs> yes this app is safe uh, we can check different permission taken by taken by this app and this app has access to wi-fi that's it people should develop their app which is taking minimal permission from the user minimal as in only those permission which are required for the functioning of the app and for the normal user you should check which app is taking which permission so this app is very helpful for those for that check this app will tell you which permission is being used by which application whether this app is trustworthy or fishy but most of them they are showing as fishy but we can trust those developers like say for an example m indicator m indicator has access to c m indicator has access to my sms m indicator has access to my contact has access to my call log my contacts m indicator has access to location m indicator has access to my card c sd card also so most they are taking actually all the permissions they can read my oh no calendar sorry so they have mostly all of the permissions but which are not required for the app functioning 
but this is the app we can trust so this app will this unhack app will help you to decide whether you should install the app or not about unhack help normal simple help options are there so that's it a very simple to use app creatively develop does what is necessary a uh, good security op application you should install this and whenever you inst uh, rather install keeping this app on your phone you can install this app whenever you you install a new app so you, whenever you install a new app after that you install unhack analyze the analyze the new newly installed app what permission is it taking and if it's trust trustworthy you should keep we can keep that app or else you you should uninstall the app thank you uh, we'll see in the next video where we will be checking some other cool app available on play store thank you